you guys to finally see Hatchet 3. Right on. Well, I may have seen it a few times already, but <laughs> this is going to be the first time I've seen it on the big screen, and I'm totally yeah. excited about I that. I gotta say, it's always my favorite thing to watch everybody else instead of like watching my movie play on the screen is to turn around and like watch the audience. Yeah. That's the fun part for me because I'm like, I wonder if they're going to jump at the right time, if they're going to scream at the right time. Yeah. And uh, it's fun to see that they do usually. So. And they're such fun movies that I literally, I know they're scary, but I just, I don't know, I laugh during that because I think that's the nervous energy uh, yeah. <laughs> where you're, you're right. like, oh my gosh, someone's head's getting torn off. Woo, that's Again. hilarious. Yep. Have any pranks on set? Because I feel like a lot of the characters that are all gory will just, right. you know, jump out. Kane Hodder has done a couple in the past. He's the Hatchet, king of pranks. Yeah, Kane Hodder usually is the one that pulls out pranks. He'll drop a spider on somebody. He can also throw up on command. So that's always a fun prank. <laughs> and um, uh, he has a very fancy tattoo. If you happen to talk to him tonight, ask him if he has any tattoos. Um, I'm sure Kane will be coming through. Yeah. And um, but uh, the first film, it was Prank City. Okay, the second one there was a lot, and the third one we kind of like kind of it wasn't so many pranks, but there were enough pranks just happening by alligators like literally coming up say, on set. I so. think it was the actual environment that was the prank on yeah, all of us all filmmakers of us. because the weather was wicked down there in New Orleans, and you know bugs and alligators and Heat. oh my god, it was so hot and damp. It was just moist. It was moist. <laughs> Ew, <God. laughs> no, Nobody does. Either. And that's what it was down in John the Beat Swamp, and we shot Hatchet 3. Oh that's my a perfect word for, like, you know, yes. what was it like? It was it moist. It was very moist. Oh, that's terrible. But you'll see it in the movie. There are actually bugs. Like, literally, Zach Galligan's standing by the shore, and there's a mosquito, like, on his forehead. Look for it when, when he's on that, that shore. <laughs> yeah, and then in the other takes where he has a big bump right there. I'm sorry, did you tell the chigger story yet? No! no. What is it? Good luck what with that is... one. <laughs> Wait, okay, tell me, tell me the Where's story. You tell anybody Come that. Come on in. Oh, okay. You're welcome. That's Joe Lynch. Um, anyway, uh, okay, um, I'm so happy right now. All right, I'll start with it because it was me. Okay. So, there are many, there are a lot of things to look out for when you're shooting a film in the swamp. One of them, the Spanish moss that's hanging in the trees, while beautiful, is full of these bugs called chiggers and it turns out that somehow in the process of shooting um well, i had i can cut in for a second because ahead. will is the director of photography and he has no problem laying on the ground of the swamp to get the right shot True. spiders the, I, there was jumping spiders but he's in there getting the right shot go <laughs> <laughs> so while laying on the ground it turns out i got chiggers like sort of on my backside a bit. Inside of his rear end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're very uncomfortable bugs to have. Anyway, this is just going awful. Yeah, no, no. Um, anyway, so what happened was we got back to set, and it's first thing in the morning because we were shooting nights, we got back to the hotel. And so in the hotel parking lot, in the parking garage, I'm like leaned over the back of a car like He's this. so miserable. With my pants down, and Sarah Elbert has uh, has uh, nail polish. Clear finger nail polish. To like get rid of the chiggers that are on my backside. But he was miserable. Yep. And so. So she, she saved me, because it worked. This is how close we are. Yes. And this is what I do for the crew. That's right. So she saved me. However, we found out later that that parking lot is totally under surveillance. And everybody in the hotel saw me pull my pants down and saw Sarah Albert. At 7 a.m., we are totally drenched and bloody, bloody on top of that because of the blood from the set. Yep. So it was just. So you that's know. that story. So that's shooting in the swamps. Thanks, that's Hatchet Three. <laughs> and while shooting, did you guys were you guys ever scared to be in the swamp at night? It's scary. Yeah, we actually had um, we actually had a guy that would uh, was on set the whole time. Like he had a machete and a forty five. His name was Gator. Gator. And he, uh, he the wore swamp. yeah he owned the swamp. He had a, a hat with like alligator teeth on it. And uh, he's actually in the movie. He's in the um, oh yes, you'll yeah. see him at the boat when they get off. Uh, they get off the boat, and yeah. he's also in the police station. Oh great. Um, yeah. And uh, but anyway, so he had a, he had a machete and a gun, and would get the alligators and the snakes off the set for us. So. It's for real. It's it's a the a film is absolutely practical in the swamp. So yeah. And you said you got blood squirted on you, or blood was on you. I was I um I, um other than that, like we we didn't have a lot of people. Like there weren't people like volunteering to go and um play dead bodies. So I played a dead body where you just laid down in the dirt, covered in blood, in the background. So you can kind of see that. I have a little bit a better cameo in the in the movie as well, but. But yeah, we all go home covered in blood. And now that Hatchet 3 is coming out, do you guys have anything you're working on now? 
Yeah, we, uh, we also produce a sitcom. Um, it's called Holliston. Which is hilarious. Uh, that we, the horror movie people, make a TV show. But it's, uh, yeah, look for Holliston. It's a hilarious TV show that Sarah produces, Adam Green wrote, directed, acting in. Sarah producer, I'm the DP. So, uh, yeah, it's the same family. It's the Hatchet family, all of us, yeah. really. Corey Neal. Yeah, and so, it's, it's a funny, it's a sitcom with just sort of like a um, uh, the horror twist. With a lot of, you know, uh, uh, references and things. Right. Hey, Sid, Sid Haig's in it. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, so we're really excited for Holliston. It's a, you know, if anybody can try to try to find a way to see it, it's on Fearnet, uh, the cable network, um, and it's also available online, so you can find it. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thank yeah. you guys so much. You're very welcome.